Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Vanessa of Silver Creations and in this video I wanted to make a little Golden Books uh, Thanksgiving are you not really Thanksgiving but more fall but this book is just called I'm Thankful so but yeah it's more like a fall book that I kind of want to make um, and this is the one I found which I thought was super cute and uh, let's see I also got like for the spine, I found this at um, Walmart and I thought it was super cute. So I got this to cover the spine. Um, so what we want to do first, I already found where the um, staples are and kind of cleared it off. Um, this will be the second Little Golden Books I made um, journal. But with the first one, I had watched a video where the girl, she... I'm not sure what she did, but she cut out the pages and then sewed them together. Um, but then I was watching another video. Um, I had her name written down somewhere and I don't know where it went. Um, but anyway, in her video, um, she takes out the staples so that you don't, um, she does it differently to where you don't have to disconnect or, you know, have to sew in the pages. So we're going to try that. I'm going to see if I can get these staples out, like how difficult it's going to be, because I'm not sure. <laughs> um, like she used pliers and everything, but I don't have any readily available, so I'm just going to try using this and hopefully it works. I think if we can, on this side it's weird because I only see one side of the, one side of the staple. I couldn't find the other side, which is crazy. I don't know where it is. <laughs> But let's see what we can do here. Might be a little difficult to get this out. Sorry, I'm kind of concentrating to get this out of there. Let's see. Well, I don't want to ruin the cover. So I got to be careful. But I think we could probably open up the book here some. Yeah. You can see how it kind of lifts up a little bit and maybe we can get the I'm sorry if you guys are having trouble seeing maybe if we can kind of get it in there oh well that one came right out so that was nice let's see about this one oh yeah because it looks like yeah there's only like part of the staple in there that's crazy they didn't do a very good job stapling it. Or what did they do? It's weird. But at least we got the top part <laughs> ready to go. And let's see if we can get this bottom part. I wonder if we go to this side. Yeah, they really got that bottom, the bottom staple in there. <laughs> let's see. I'm going to be cutting off the spine. Um, so it doesn't matter if I poke through the, obviously, <laughs> if I poke through the, I don't want to spend the whole time, like, you know, trying to get it out. Okay, so I got the staple out, like, <laughs> pretty much as soon as I stopped recording. All, all I did was I took the awl and I stuck it and then I twist it like this, like, like that, and then it came right out. So, there we go. Now we have the empty um, shell, I guess. And what I'm going to do is just cut this off right here along along there but I think I'll open it up to do it so I make sure I don't I um, it kind of sucks I damaged this but maybe we can salvage a little bit wait do I cut here or do I cut down the center yeah I think I cut right here along the sides that's what I did on my other one I'm pretty sure so we have two different like it came out in two pieces like this but what I'm gonna do is probably do like three signatures and do two parts per signature because I think and what we want to do is make sure we keep them in order also so like this is the first two pages so you see like it goes like this the first two pages and then the next two pages I'm going to take out and I'm going to put it under the top one 
and then the third set for the third signature. And that's going to go here. So that'll be the end of the book. And this book is new. It was uh, made last year. Um, but it's still cute. I think it's very cute, actually. Um, so, okay, let's go ahead and cut this. What I'm going to do is use my knife and my uh, ruler. Let me move these so I don't accidentally cut them. Hopefully we can get a good amount done in this video so I, it doesn't have to be too many parts. Because that would be good. Um... Like, you know, I'm hoping we get more than just the front cover done in this one, but we are already at like six minutes. So this might actually just work best to have it like this and then cut through. Um, if anybody has any suggestions, like different ways that you might do this, if you want to let us know about it, that could be cool. Because, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm fairly new to this, so... This is just kind of some of the videos I watched, how it kind of showed to do it. So, all right, we got the top. I think I can clean it up a little. So, and let's just do the bottom or the back. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sure, I'm sure I'm probably going to do some things wrong, but I mean, I like how my other one turned out. I would show it, but I made it for... <laughs> Um, a friend so so yeah <laughs> all right you see how it's uneven well so I already sent it out so I guess that's what I'm trying to say like I don't have it with me all right let's try to make this a little more even kind of stack it up there you know I wasn't looking so I hope you guys were able to see me cutting the the spine off because I realized I wasn't really paying attention <laughs> I'm sorry so okay let's get through this one all right there we go now we got it we got an even cut let me throw all this away I'm gonna hold on to this yeah, this is pretty cool. It, it is a little damaged, but maybe I can include this in the book somewhere because that would be pretty nice. Let me just cut off this excess that I kind of got on here of the, the book cover. Did I get it through? Almost. <laughs> there we go. Got it. All right, so I'm going to put this aside for now. And then what we want to do is we want to make our spine. So I already have some chipboard that I cut because I from making a journal the other day, uh, which obviously is not the right size, but that is okay. And I think what we're going to do is make a t one and a half or two inch. I think we'll make a two inch spine. So let's see how tall this book is. Get it right there. Okay, so it's eight inches. So let's see. Let's move these again. Oh, my my printer decided to go a little crazy right now. So let's get this to eight inches as well, which is right here. I'll mark it if I can find a pen. There we go. I always just use my Cricut markers because they're right here. All right, I just put a little spot. So what we're going to do first is cut this. I got them stacked up even, flush, and then I'm going to line it up with this dot that I made. Okay, and then cut. This is pretty exciting, honestly, making the little golden books. And I got one also to make a Christmas journal um, uh, the night before Christmas. What was it called? The Night Before Christmas or whatever that one is. Oh, they're already two inch. So that's good. <laughs> Easy peasy. All right, let's see if we got the right size or if I cut a little short. Let's see, line it up. It looks like I'm a little over, so I wanna cut that off. 
let's see I don't want to get any marker on the book but we'll just right there all right now let's cut this one it's a little bit of a smaller cut but it, it should work okay so how's everybody doing today I hope you're all doing well um, how's the weather where everyone is because it felt like it was cooling down here in Texas for like a couple days and now it's super hot again and super muggy it sucks <laughs> All right, there we go. We should have it perfect this time. Yep. Okay, that works. And what I want to do is glue them together so they don't come apart. Ow. I hit myself in the face with my ruler. Okay, where is my fabric fix? Here it is. I know I just said it's hot and muggy and I'm wearing a sweater. <laughs> but, you know, it gets cold inside. Like, it's still early morning right now. All right, let's go ahead and just spread the glue. I want to do some sewing in this, so I wonder if it would work to sew around the spine, how that would be. You know, like um, instead of gluing it, just sewing it. That would probably be a good idea. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and line up our spine. Obviously, we're going to leave some space between it. But I want to get my fabric and see how much we're going to need for this spine. I think this is going to look super cute on there. I really love the blue pumpkins and the sunflowers. Okay. Let me just move this out of the way for a second. And then put the fabric down kind of lay it out a little bit. Obviously it's way too big, um, height wise. <laughs> so what I want to do is move it over some. Oh, I don't like this part. I'm going to cut this part off. Why does it, why does it like that? Do you guys know? Maybe, yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> um, I don't really know why it has the, the holes on that side. Well, it has it on both, actually, on this one. A lot of times it's only on one side that I've seen. So there we go. We got the, that. And I don't want to cover up too much of the, the, like, you know, the cover or the back cover. So let's do that right there. Let's lay the spine down. It's a little crooked. Leave a little bit of space there. If you guys can see, we got a little space there. Okay, I moved the camera so you guys can see a little bit better. And then I think... Well, let's move it up actually so that the... Okay, so I think I want to cut it right at this uh, leaf. Kind of at the crease, actually. So let's do that. I'm just cutting from the bottom here. And then I'm going to go ahead and tear it. And then we'll redo it and see how much we need to take off the bottom. All right, let me get this fabric out of here. Oops, sorry for getting you all shaky there. This is really fun. I'm, I personally really enjoy the way the little golden books... Uh, journals look. I've seen so many super cute ones that I just really love. So that's why I wanted to try. Well, for my friend, uh, well, cousin, <laughs> essentially, um, she wanted a little book to kind of uh, a journal for her kids to kind of write down what they're doing for the school year and all of that so that's why we decided to do a little golden books and that's when I really started looking into it um, and then I was like oh yeah I really love this so that's when I started kind of trying it out um, and yeah that's when I really discovered a love for it so because I mean what a cute idea right to have a little golden book journal 
um, that you you can the kids can write all their their memories and stuff in from the school year. I think it's such a good idea. Okay, I want to see something. I want to see how how far up this fabric goes. Yeah, it's gonna cover the eye. I just want to take a little bit off. Maybe like oh, like right here. Just to see, because I don't want to cover up any of the letters on the front. Put the spine back. Put this about where it would go. Okay, I might. Alright, let's just go ahead and glue this. Let's glue the spine down first. So, what I'm going to do is just take the fabric fix again and I'm gonna spread it around let's get you in frame here because I know how frustrating that can be um, I'm just gonna take this I'm gonna put a good amount on because this is just what's gonna hold our book on so I mean th this is obviously <laughs> is gonna be holding our spine onto the fabric but I also don't want it to bleed through so I'm kind of just kind of rubbing it along because otherwise, yeah, it's going to bleed through for sure. Let's see. I wish I had something to kind of spread this out with. But I'll just use my finger. Because, I mean, it, even though I kind of tried to spread it thin with the thing, it's still not thin enough. Okay, that should be good, hopefully. I always have a problem with the bleed through, so... We'll have to see if this hopefully doesn't bleed through. I'm just going to line it up right about there. That looks even. Push it down. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's good. No bleed through. That's awesome. Okay. And now I'm going to glue the back cover on. How much does that stick through? I think I need to trim up the sides just a little bit more. I'm just going to make a little cut right about there and right about there. Because we still want it to hold on, but I don't want it to cover too much. Well, that didn't work. I might just use my rotary tool if the... Where is it? this one and just cut from the I guess I should have done this before <laughs> before I glued the spine but I kind of wanted to see like how much room I had you know so oh well I do like the look of the rotary tool anyway it makes a nice clean cut <laughs> there we go that's about where I tore just do it like twice there we go that away. Okay, turn it back the right way. <laughs> and then there we go. That should be good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put some of the glue right along the side here. And again, we're going to make sure we rub it in because we want to make sure that no bleed through happens. And hopefully it does not cover the eye this time. <laughs> Or, of course, the little golden book thing. All right. So we spread that around. Let's line it up. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. Right about there, I would say. Yeah, that's a good little space in between there. Not too much, not too little. Push it down. There we go. Yeah, we got it in a good spot. No, we didn't. It's covering the eye. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ah. Uh. That eye is just really far over, right? <laughs> okay, how much should, should I take off? Because if I think if I leave that much space, it's way too much. So let's take this off. And again, we'll cut a little bit more off here. I guess I should have measured the length between 
But honestly, I thought it would be a lot easier than this to, to line it up. That's what I get. Okay, I'm just going to cut again with the rotary tool. There we go. Let's try this again. Let's see. If I were to lay it down, like right there, and then I open it up. There we go. That's way better. Okay, but I feel like I need, well, no, it feels like the glue is holding pretty well. I think what I'm going to do, honestly, I don't think I've seen this done yet, but so hopefully it works okay. But I think I'm going to uh, sew right along here just to make sure it holds. And also I'm going to take a little more off this side because if I took that off the other side, we need it to be even, right? I'm sorry, this uh, tutorial is such a mess. I guess I more just wanted to show you guys how... It's not very difficult. I, I was intimidated, honestly. Um, when I made the first one, I was very intimidated. So I guess I wanted to show you guys that it's really easy, like... It's really easy to do. You know, like, it may, I don't know if anyone else thinks that's intimidating, but, you know, like, as far as trying to remove the spine and all of that, to me, I was like, oh, how am I going to do this? But it's really not that difficult. So I guess I just kind of wanted to show you guys out there that if you want to make one, it's super easy. And it's fun. So. Okay, there we go. All right, we got our cover done. Let's see. Okay, I had to reposition there so you guys could see a little better. Here we go. This is our cover. This is our spine. I think this goes so perfect with this for sure. Um, now, I was hoping we were going to get a little more done in this video, but we're already at 23 minutes. So I think in the next one, we will um, get our signatures ready. I'll, I'll go ahead and pick out some paper. I don't think I have any fall paper, but um, I'll see what I have. And then we'll do that in the next part. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, sorry it was a little bit of a mess <laughs> there for a little bit. But I think this is going to be a super cute fall journal for sure. Alright, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.